Hello students, we are back once again with electrophilic substitution reaction. This time we are going to take the electrophilic substitution reaction of toluene. As you know earlier in the previous episode we have also come across the uh, nitration reaction of toluene. So today we are going to deal with the sulfonation reaction of toluene. We have already dealt with sulfonation of benzene in our previous episodes as you must have already checked. Now we are taking sulfonation of toluene. I have already mentioned toluene over here, toluene also known as methyl benzene. As we perform the sulfonation reaction, you know very well we require oleum that is sulfuric acid SO3 or you can even consider fuming sulfuric acid. This fuming sulfuric acid will produce a sulfonium ion and that sulfonium ion is your electrophile for the reaction electrophilic substitution reaction. That is all the story we have mentioned in our previous episodes. So getting into a new concept of the reaction. What criteria the methyl group has that is important that we need to talk over here. Methyl group is an electron with a um, donating group and it has tendency to guide the incoming group to ortho and para positions. So when sulfonation is carried out for toluene, the SO3H plus which is generated, this is your electrophile. You can also consider the name as sulfonium ion. And on the other hand, you have HSO4 minus. Now, when SO3H plus is produced, it is as you can see lacking electron. And as a result, it will attack the benzene nucleus. As you know, there is a pi electron cloud above and below the plane of benzene. And so it is rich with electron cloud. So it can easily attract the electrophile towards it. But as the methyl group is already present, it will direct the incoming group on ortho and para positions. As a result, what happens? This is the existing methyl group. This is ortho position with respect to this methyl group and as it is ortho, ortho as well as para directing group, the other probability of para position is exactly opposite to uh, the methyl group. So we will have one SO3H and another over here. Now you know this was SO3H plus. So this carbon which was earlier bonded with H atom, H atom left the carbon leaving its electron making that carbon electronegative and giving a minus sign. SO3H is having plus sign. Same thing the H leaving from this carbon making carbon electron rich giving one minus. SO3H having one plus. This plus and minus gets nullified. And as a result, you can see over here, a bond will be formed between carbon and sulfur of SO3H group. As a result, you will get two compounds. Here you can see the positions are ortho and para. So the nomenclature, the naming also will be done accordingly. This is toluene, benzene having CH3 is toluene. And the ortho position you have SO3H that is sulfonic acid. Now it is sulfonic acid that is the group. So the name can be given as ortho toluene sulfonic acid. Whereas this one can be given with respect to the position as para. This part is toluene 
एंड SO3H थ्री एच इज सल्फोनिक एसिड सो यू कैन गिव द नेम्स अकॉर्डिंगली यू कैन शॉर्टन देर फॉर्म एज ओ टी एस एंड पी टी एस रिस्पेक्टिवली फाइन द एच विच इज लिविंग द कार्बन अटेन्स द प्लस साइन एंड दैट इज द रीजन वेन यू टेक टू मोल्स ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड वी हैव टॉक्ड इन सल्फोनेशन ऑफ बेन्जिन one h combines with one hso4 minus and another h plus combines with another and that yields a mole of sulfuric acid as a catalyst so this is how the whole reaction carries into the formation of ots and pts now if we further perform reaction on ots and pts that is if you heat the reaction mixture at a very high temperature with solid sodium hydroxide naoh the reaction is known as fusion and we heat at a very high temperature fine right? so the reaction is known as fusion same thing we'll do over here we'll heat this pts with solid naoh and will perform fusion on that as well what happens naoh ionizes into na plus oh minus this naoh also ionizes into na plus oh minus now this so3h bonded to carbon as you know sulfur is highly electronegative compared to carbon so it will pull away the electron of carbon towards it carbon will lose the electron and as a result so3h will attain a minus sign so i'll write over here so3h with a minus sign because it has taken away the electron of carbon over here we have na plus so that na plus joins with SO3H minus and that forms a compound as NaHSO3 sodium bisulfite or sodium hydrogen sulfite. Similar lines over there, same byproduct NaHSO3 will be formed. So, what will be the use of this OH minus? Once the SO3H leaves the carbon, taking away the electron of carbon, the carbon over here. is having plus sign so this oh minus combines with the carbon and that gives you oh with ch3 at ortho position same way over there you have ch3 and the oh takes the position of this so3h group so you have a compound commonly known as cresol but as the positions are ortho the compound is known as ocresol here the position are opposite to each other the functional groups are placed opposite so the position is para we write p and compound is again the same cresol so this is how you can name the compound according to the positions to which the functional groups are accommodated or located with respect to each other so this is a sulfonation reaction of uh, this uh, toluene you can give one more name to this compound now you can see this is uh, oh group which is more reactive than the methyl group so the compound can be considered as phenol and to the ortho position you have methyl group so you can name the compound as ortho methyl phenol or you can name it as para methyl phenol this is one more way of naming the compound these are the common names this you can consider as iupsc name so this is how you can consider the whole reaction with respect to the existing group that is its directing effect so this is your sulfonation reaction of toluene i hope you have understood the reaction prepare the reaction well you can uh, uh, always uh, uh, write your question if you have in the form of a doubt on the same video in the section comment 
or you can mail me at styrenestyrin1411 at gmail.com so we can always meet and have your problems solved wish you all the very best prepare well and see you soon for the next uh, topic that will be halogenation reaction of tolerant till then goodbye